So let's talk about what's coming up on my channel for the month of September, plus a much better set of pickups I got last month. Big days and entertainment rankings and reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name's Dual, better known to you as the Big D. So this time around, I'm finally going to bring to you my schedule vid for this month, September 2021. But before I get into that, I've got to do some other things first. First, after having so many dismal pickups and not having any the previous month, that's changed. I got three things from Walmart recently, and here they are. First up, I'm going to show both of these together. <laughs> How about that? I have both parts of Batman The Long Halloween, which was just recently released, the newest DC Amit Universe title. Now, I will review both parts in a review next month. I fell asleep during a little bit of both parts, but don't worry, I'm going to re-watch them real soon. I can't guarantee this month, probably next month, and that way I'll be able to review them. My last, my only art pickup was the complete second season of the Emmy-nominated Doom Patrol, which I just now finished watching. Now, I just learned a new season's probably already started, or is due to start soon on HBO Max, but since I don't have HBO Max, well, I can't guarantee you that. Now, before I go into my schedule, I'm going to go ahead and get into this right now, too. Because I'm about to give you what took home the gold, the bronze, and the silver. Well, the gold, silver, and bronze. Well, you get the point. These go to the vids from last month that got the most views. The gold Big D goes to the most viewed video. And according to what I've seen, with 32 views... Is the review of American Pie Presents the Naked Mile. Wow. Never thought y'all would like that. <laughs> Pardon me. The Silver Big D goes to my second most viewed video. And this formerly was the top one. But until the Naked Mile surpassed it. With 27 big views is, the is my re-review of Suicide Squad. And for the Bronze Big D, unfortunately, I've got a three-way tie with 22 views each for the Pebbles and Bam Bam show Saturday morning TV log, the review of the Loud House movie, and more recently, the review of An American Werewolf in London. So, congrats. I wish I didn't have a kind pick and tie. Uh, but to hell with it. It's y'all's viewing. You, It's your choice. You're the viewers and why I'm not going to try and be forceful to y'all. If only some of my vids could do much better. But for now, let's get into what's coming up on my channel this month. Now, on the second, which is tomorrow, I'll be reviewing one of the films I recently rewatched. Last month, one I hadn't seen in years, and that's James Cameron's The Abyss. Yes, so look forward to that one. On the third, you will get a little bit of a slight overdue Wide World of Game Shows episode, which I had forgot. I had forgotten this came out in July, so I have and I did Hot Potatoes instead. But I'm gonna make that up to you as I'm gonna talk about Family Feud, the, which recently ce celebrated its 45th anniversary. Now on the and then on the fourth will be the first of my of four sci-fi Saturday morning TV logs. And I'll be starting with Space Academy from 1977. Then on the fifth will be another makeup because this month's gonna be mostly sci-fi and makeups. For makeups, it's just gonna be reviews for some movies I forgot to do anniversary reviews of. Now there are some anniversary reviews coming up, so. So anyway, on the 5th will be a Disney Plus 3 for TV log special where I'll be talking about what I thought about The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, The Mighty Ducks, Game Changers, and Loki. Then, on the 6th, I'll be reviewing a film I failed to do a review of last year, and that being DreamWorks Emmy it hit Madagascar. Then on the next day will be the sequel, Madagascar Escape to Africa. 
And on the 8th, the next day will be Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted. On that same day, I will be doing another TV log, and it will be celebrating 55 years of the original Star Trek. Yes, which I'll be reviewing for the, the first four movies. Not all of them, because I haven't rewatched more of the others. Um, not even the sequels that came after the remake. Well, I mean reboot. Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> Then on the 9th, you will get a review of the Penguins of Madagascar. I don't know when I'll do a rank of the Madagascar movie, so I can't guarantee all that. Sorry. Let's see here. Then on the 11th will be the next Saturday morning TV log. It'll be on, though it'll be just the day after it turns 55, the original Space Ghost. That's right, I'm going to be talking about this great Hanna-Barbera classic. And speaking of Hanna-Barbera, on that same day, on Saturday, on the, on the night of the 11th, I'll be doing a double feature live stream. That's right, you heard me correctly, I'm doing a live stream. I'm actually doing three, as a matter of fact. The first will be a Flintstones double feature, where I'll be talking with y'all and watching the man called Flintstone and the Jetsons meet the Flintstones. Bet that's going to be fun if only some of you, and if any of you trolls try to interfere, well, don't worry. I'll have some of my boys take care of you. Know what I'm saying? Okay, that about covers it. All right. Now, on the 12th will be the first of the four, the first four Star Trek movies, starting with Star Trek The Motion Picture, then The Wrath of Khan on the 13th, The Search for Spock on the 14th, and The Voyage Home on the 15th. Then, on the 17th will be the Q&A. Yes, I'm doing this midway through September. But don't bother sending me any questions yet. Wait until I get the, an actual video for, de well, again, details to follow, okay? So don't bother giving me any questions yet. Because I'm giving you all a limited time for questions. But wait until I get the Q&A announcement and, well, when you can get your questions sent and what time, okay? Okay. Then on the 18th, I'll be talking about the Star Trek cartoon on the Saturday morning TV log. Let's see here. Then on the 20th, I'll be making up for missing out on this last month. I'll be reviewing a film that recently celebrated its 35th anniversary last month. That'll be the underrated Disney sci fi flick, Flight of the Navigator. And then the next day, on the 22nd, will be a review of a film I, for, I failed to review back in June because I failed to rewatch until just the next month. And that will be Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Let's see. And on the 24th, will be another Wide World of Game Shows episode. And this time I'm going to be tackling, and on that episode, I'm going to be tackling the long lost game show that is soon to be back on the air on the Buzzer Network. Yes. I've actually been watching the Buzzer Network live through IMDb TV. Since not, I can, don't have Buzzer on my actual TV, but I can watch Buzzer live through IMDb TV. Now, I've been watching all sorts of games on there, including the, well, including Blockbusters on, well, on one occasion I did. I also saw, been watching Sale of the Century and, Card Shark sometimes, the original, uh, let's see, and of course, I've seen Concentration, but, I've, but I really prefer classic Concentration a little more, no hard feelings, but I like them both now. Uh, I've seen Super Password on there, and the match game Hollywood Squares Hour, yeah, another rarely remembered game, but this one's gonna be another long lost game, aside from that, and that being... That's right. A show that came out in the summer of 79, hosted by the late, great Tom Candy and announced by the late, great Rod Roddy before he did pressure. He did the announcement sing for Pressure Luck and The Price is Right. Yes. Yeah, I figure since um, you can watch come up right after Pressure Luck every weekday afternoon right here on Buzzer. Check your listings if you've got that channel, all right? But if not, try and find it live on, you, you can find it on not just IMDb TV, you can also find it on Pluto TV, uh, Roku, 
Well, you just find on the buzzer TV side, all right? Uh, now, where was I? Oh, yes. And then on the 25th will be the Saturday morning TV log of the big block with new adventures with Space Ghosts, the Herculoids, plus Astro and the Space Muds, and the Team Force. That's right, Space Stars. Which is actually soon to be celebrating its 40th anniversary. And on and on that and on the night of the twenty fifth, I'll be doing another live stream, and it'll and I'll be watching Orphan. Yes. Okay, and then on the twenty sixth, I'll be celebrating the thirty fifth anniversary of the Australian American type comedy Crocodile Dundee. That's right. I'm reviewing the Crocodile Dundee series as well because after that, on the 27th, will be the sequel, Crocodile Dundee 2. And on the 28th, will be Crocodile Dundee in Los Angeles. Okay, and then on the 29th, I will be celebrating the 15th anniversary of the very first film from Sony Pictures Animation with Hotel Transylvania Transformania not too f just another month away. Which I'm going to do my best to squeeze in all my reviews for those movies before I do uh, it. Should I go see that? And, well, you know the rest. So you'll begin open season on the 29th. And finally, on the 30th, will be another Wide World of Game Shows episode. But it's going to be a special for an anniversary where I celebrate 30 years of the great kids game. Where we ask a certain question based on a popular video game. Well, after a computer game, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? That's right. Also, expect an episode on the spinoff, Where in Time is Carmen San Diego, coming up later on next month. Now, I haven't confirmed when to do the Where on Earth is Carmen San Diego Saturday morning series, but I'll save that for later on for the Saturday morning TV log, all right? Okay, that covers it, finally. All right, now, what are you expecting to see? I bet you're expecting a lot of stuff. And um, if my good friend John Kyle is watching some A's horror fan, I hope you're ready for some live streams. And I'm pretty sure my buddy King Havoc is as well, so be ready, my friends. Anyway, that'll do it. Thank you for watching. And if you like this, click the like button below, subscribe to my channel, and be a part of the Big D Nation. And stay tuned for my review of The Abyss coming up tomorrow. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this, see the last few vids I, I did. The upper left-hand corner is the first time watches of August 2021. The upper right-hand corner is the August 2021 rewatches. The bottom left-hand corner is the TV log I did for Alice. Which you can also check out the follow-up vid I did. Because I failed to bring up catchphrases from that show. And please try and watch this Alice TV log. I put a lot of effort into this. Even though I was in a hurry. It's only got one measly review. Come, view, come on. I can do better than that. Okay. But for now, just do what's best. The bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video, games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying see ya.